He's the putter for the centers in the kickoff man. He'll be kicking to the closed end of the stadium with a wind at his back. And the on start, rocking on going. Here it is, down to Randall Hill as he takes it back across the 10 yard line into the 20. A bit of open field for the moment. He's out to the 31 yard line. Penalty marker is down first. We'll see what that is. Let's go to line up Steve Walsh first. He is the quarterback, a 20-year-old sophomore. Warren Williams, an outstanding running back, averaging five yards a carry. Melvin pass. Bratton is the Kicking fullback. Team. An excellent First big down. play man. Melvin Bratton has scored 32 touchdowns this season. Brian Blades, a very fast wide receiver. He's caught 29-5 for touchdowns. There's the man to watch deep. Michael Irvin, six touchdown receptions. He holds all the Miami receiving records. The tight end is primarily a blocker, Alfredo Roberts. First and ten now for Miami. It was a face mask penalty ball position at the 34 as Wall steps in. And he's going to have to run it. They don't like him to. Running him down very well is Troy Johnson. The offensive line, there's been some changes there because of injury and suspension. Damon Bruce starts at left tackle. The on a left tackle, a very good one. Patchen is out with a knee. Mike Sullivan from Chicago, a freshman, is the left guard. The center, Rod Holder, also a Chicagoan. He's a sophomore. Right guard, Bobby Garcia. He's moved in to start there because Scott Proven has moved from right guard to right tackle. Gain of only a yard on the scramble by Walsh, and now he's ready to put it up deep. Out pattern goes to Alfredo Roberts, the little-used tight end. At Reed, the outside left end or linebacker, whichever you prefer. He's a stand-up player. Curtis Williams, the left tackle. Dante Williams, a force at nose tackle, a most important player in this game. Starting at right tackle is Scott Evans. Darren Kirkpatrick, the starter, out with a knee injury. Roy Johnson, you just saw him. He's at right end. Donnie Jones, one of the inside backers, consensus All-American player. Richard Dillon might be the fastest linebacker for the Sooners, gets the least publicity. Derek White at right cornerback, and Lonnie Finch, two very fast defensive backs. The safety's a pair of outstanding players, David Vickers and Ricky Dixon. Dixon, a consensus All-American. It's a first down with the ball is spotted out to the 45-yard line. End up goes to Warren Williams, and he takes it out close to the 49-yard line. Miami deploys two wide receivers to the right. Blades and Irvin. They check off. They'll change as much as 80% of the time at the line of scrimmage. Out pattern by Walsh. He makes the connection to Michael Irvin, who is knocked down at the 45-yard line. At time, it was good for the first down to the 44-yard line of the Sooners. Miami with the opening drive. Here's the handoff to Williams, a five-yard carry runner. Hurricanes come out with a second down and nine play. Over the middle, Alfredo Roberts had it and lost it. They ruled it an incomplete pass. Speed on the left flank now. Trump as they put Brett Perriman, their fastest player out there. Walsh, though, played fake and is ready to loop it downfield. And he goes to Irvin and makes the reception. It's a first down for the Hurricanes as they move the ball down to the 30-yard line. The Hurricanes are on the drive. First down, and here's Walsh dropping to throw, looping it down towards the end zone. There's speed going for the ball. It is caught by Melvin Bratton out of the backfield, but there's a penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage. And that's against Oklahoma. 12 in on the field. The touchdown counts. Oklahoma was trying to go with a six defensive back set. One of the defensive linemen did not get off the field. Defensive tackles make it happen fast after the opening kickoff. Down the field they go. And finally a 30-yard touchdown. Five in that drive for 59 yards and a touchdown. And now the extra point is hit up and good by Greg Cox. Melvin Bratton with the number one finger up. But there's a ways to go indeed. 11.32 to play in the first quarter. Underdog Miami has gone to the lead, 7 to nothing. Miami coming in with an 11-0 mark this year, the same as the Sooners. Dennis hits it very high, and here comes Stafford, the sprinter from St. Louis. Special teams hit is a beauty. At the For the Oklahoma Sooners, Charles Thompson, a redshirt freshman from Lawton, Oklahoma. Scored 10 touchdowns this year. Lydell Carr is back in to start at fullback. Missed three games with a knee injury. Stafford, one of the runners in the wishbone. Patrick Collins is the other. They all average over six yards a carry. Cabin is the spread end. All-American Keith Jackson's at tight end. We'll see if the Miami defense can shut down the huge offensive blocking scheme. Here's the pitch back. Collins running with the ball and very well as he crosses the 25-yard line. 
Oklahoma, if you ain't got size, you ain't got nothing up front. They have an offensive line that might average 290 pounds. They say 280. John Phillips told me he thinks it's closer to 300. Hudson, an All-American guard at the left side. Latham has done an outstanding job at center. Anthony Phillips, brother of John Phillips at right guard. And the biggest sooner, Greg Johnson, is at right tackle. Normally, they go wire to wire. And off the fullback. First back takes it, and Lydell Carr is ahead for a sooner first down. As you look at the Miami defense here, I'll make my point. You go ahead and introduce the defense, Don. Stubbs a consensus All-American. Derwin Jones, a 275-pound tackle. Leading sacker is Greg Mark. Bill Hawkins, a big rangy defensive end. Linebackers, small but very fast for the Miami Hurricanes. We'll get to them in a minute. Is right now. It is first down and 10 for Oklahoma. Sooner's 36-yard line. Give to the fullback. Andy Shannon and Rod Carter, the other two backers for Miami. Second down and eight. Running in very well across the 45-yard line. There's Shannon, a 215-pound linebacker. Bernard Tiger Clark in the middle for George Myra Jr. Rod Carter's a destroyer at the weak linebacker position. Big-time hitter Bubba McDowell has blocked eight punts in his career. Tolbert Bain is the other cornerback. They're all big, strong, run and hit. Darrell Fullington is the strong safety and maybe the best player on the field for the Miami Hurricanes is Benny Blades. And on third and less than one, Thompson calls his own number and takes it ahead behind All-American guard Mark Hudson who gets 20 touchdowns. They go to the fullback, Lydell Carr. To step on. Second down and 12, pitch back goes and here comes Patrick Collins. He breaks the line of scrimmage and he's out across the 50 and down close to the 44. They are not a good passing team, but they don't have to be. Over 400 yards a game running the ball, and Thompson keeps it himself on third down. It's going to be very close. Opening drive, a 30-yard touchdown pass. Walsh to fullback Melvin Bratton. Ball will be hit inside the 10. Sooners get a bounce, and they'll down the ball at the two-yard line. It's you right there, spotting where the football was first touched at the three-yard line. So now Miami has the long field to go, leading 7-0. Handoff. Warren Williams finds the middle and gets plenty. He's out to the 10-yard line. One due to suspension because of a drug issue. Pitch back. Again, our end up goes to Reed. Look at that strike by Daryl Reed. We've got to get at least one of our ends and our nose tackle in the backfield because Walsh is expert at the short drop and the quick throw. There's a man in the backfield, and there's nothing there for Warren Williams. For the offensive unit is Jeff Fiegel. He really unloads. Whoa. Driving back. Derek White. Three ball. It wasn't touched. It'll be down by Miami at the 21-yard line. Charles Thompson sets the bone behind him. Rolling out. Thompson is cut from behind. Coming up to get him on the play was Randy Shannon. Second down and 15 where they position the ball and they try to full back and he doesn't get a thing. Oklahoma number one in offense, but they're not in the top 100 teams in passing. Pitch back. They gamble. They go to Stafford, and he doesn't get much at all on third down and 16. Mike. Very good field position as Todd Thompson hits the ball. Very high, well hit ball. Brett Perriman's going to let it roll, and it takes a hop towards the sideline. Goes out of bounds at the Hurricane. 45-yard line. Everything going Miami's way. They really have been flawless, and now here's the handoff. Warren Williams breaks the Oklahoma defense and crashes down inside the 45-yard line. Back to live action now, and first down and 10. Walsh takes a deep drop. He goes over the middle, and his tight end, Alfredo Roberts. Can't come down with the ball. Absolutely shillelagh by Ricky Dixon. Live action, Melvin Bratton, his first catch, he remembers, for a touchdown. This time he's ahead for a gain of almost nine yards. Most important to the Miami defense. As you see, a blocking Very foul nice against the Miami Hurricanes will set them way back. <laughs> Ricky Dixon's not big, but a rocket hitter. He knocked him out of the game. Now on second down and 18, the center defense stuffs it. Here's another audible at the line of scrimmage, Don. You see the hand signals? They're down in 22 as Walsh has the big rush against him, eludes it for the moment, but overthrows his antenna receiver, Melvin Bratton. Two receivers. Ready to return the kick. Derek White fair catches the ball back at the eight-yard line. They set the ball. One wide receiver to the left. First back through is the fullback, Lydell Carr, who was totaling 58 times this season. They lost 22. 
calling his own number and sprinting by the defensive line is Charles Thompson. A late hit. There'll be 15 added on. First no foul against Miami. That's a major penalty. To play hard, tough football, but that fan's going to lose the football games. Hand off. Right up. No, he keeps the ball, does Charles Thompson taking the fullback Lydell Carr. Second and 14, as you see. Thompson hits back. Stafford turns the corner, and Anthony Stafford on a second and 14. And he might go that route. He's not a pro prospect, but he's got a long way to go in his career. He's on the straight ahead carry by fullback Lydell Carver. Not the way the Sooners like it. That's one of his strong suits. Mistake free football. One in the job, Walsh. And now Thompson punts the ball to Knuckler downfield. Perriman again lets it take a hop, and it takes a big Sooner bounce. As the maroon shirts from Norman, Oklahoma. So Big Ten had not won in that classic matchup since 1981. Michigan beat Washington. Hand off to Bratton, cutting back. Melvin Bratton, up, big back with a lot of speed. Gets but Roberts back in the ballgame. Wing formation to the left. Pro offense all the way for the Hurricanes as Melvin Bratton spins off the tackler, finds his way somehow on a second down and four. Lined up in the backfield, this time to go with a power formation right. Extra tight ends in the game. And Bratton they go, and Melvin Bratton breaks the crust of the Oklahoma defense, and he's ahead of the 29-yard line. Miami controlling the ball much of the first half as we're early in the second quarter. Hurricanes up 7-0. Walsh in trouble. We're going to get him back at the 24-yard line. Oklahoma, number one in the country in pass defense. They allow just 102 yards a game. Walsh already, as you saw, with over 60. The ability to put together long, controlled drives. He's not a big strike player. This time, Bratton comes down with the ball again as his stock rises with the pro scouts. The second for 41. Reach step putter. They didn't put a big rush on him, though. This one not too deep. And after Collins runs it back for the Sooners, but not very far. As he caught a pass. Pitch back goes to Patrick Collins, and again the Hurricanes are there to sweep him under. Didn't look like he could hurt him with a hammer, but he'll be back. Option. Thompson keeps it and darts his way across the 30 to the Sooners, trailing seven nothing with 10:02 to play in the first half. Set the wishbone. Third down and two. Thompson pitch back. Patrick Collins. And Collins gets outside and looks to have the first down. First down for the Sooners. They've not been near the Miami goal line yet. Thompson drops, takes a look, fires it long. He's got Keith Jackson downfield, but the ball, as you see, comes. Jackson's their leading receiver with only 13 catches for the year, but he averages almost 28 a catch. Four for touchdowns. Look at that. Pitch back shoot. goes to Stafford. Undersized and fat. Lyman averages at least 290 pounds. Sets up on third down and eight. Straight ahead give to Collins and Patrick Collins. Both arms on the ball is not going to get there. The time this season, the Sooners didn't need third down. Low punt downfield by Todd Thompson going back as Perriman living dangerously. He swept under by the kick coverage. First down and ten for Miami. Second back trying to find room and Warren Williams gets out to about the 25 yard line. Conley, a 170-pound freshman with breakaway speed. Here's a long ball downfield. Irvin stopped his pattern. It goes incomplete. Walsh, the audible. Walsh has been sacked only 13 times this season. He's tough to get to. Up the middle, he's got Irvin. He's got a first down as Michael Irvin takes a big bang at the 39 holes out. In the clutch, they look to 47. He makes another play. Here's Walsh play fake and on first down, looking deep. He screams it out near side to Conley. There's a penalty yeah. markers are down. There'll be an illegal block against Here's Darren Kirkpatrick, who went down with a freak knee injury on. Got to think they're going to come both ways before it's over. Walsh on first and long, long yards. First and 25 downfield and diving for the ball is Brian Blades. And into the passing school and now starting as a redshirt sophomore. He's 20 years old, loops it downfield. Too high and the Sooners have it. Ricky Dixon, the All-American, takes it back inside the 40. And Dixon still working at it. Not done yet. Turning to the outside, there's a marker down for an illegal block. But Oklahoma finally forces a turnover. Oh, somewhere. Now back to live action. First back throw is the fullback. In trouble about going to Rotten. He's fumbled seven times in his last three starts. They need fullback yardage right now. Second down and six. 
Thompson takes it himself, puts his head down. He's taken on by Bernard Clark. First back again. They shut down the fullback on third and one. And let's see if Switzer punts again. Four and a half minutes to go, first half. Power set. Thompson pitches back. Turning up field is Stafford, and he dives over the top. And the Sooners have the first down. Who have a chance to make the tackle? Sooners keep it alive. Again, they go up the middle. There's not much there as the throwback is made from the 35 yard line. Wittenhofer put three men on Charles Thompson to stop him. Sooners won that game 17 13. Pitch back goes to Collins. On second and eight, there's nothing there. And well, this Miami defense shut down the Sooner fullback the last two times they played. Now, a hard throw off the flank. A nice reception down to the 25 yard line for a first downing. They both are. First down and 10 for the Sooners who trail 7 0. Back to the fullback. Not much there as the knockdowns made at the 23 yard line. The executive producer of NBC Sports, Michael Weissman. We're down inside. Two minutes to play. First half. Pitch back. Stafford breaks it. He's down to the 16 yard line. Sooners try the fullback again. This time, Lydell Carr fighting off tacklers. Had to hold off the Huskers winning 31 to 30. Thompson caught from behind. Is he? No, he gets away, and Thompson's down to the five-yard line. First and goal are now second and three with a position. The ball and down to the goal line with a first down. Only the fourth TD pass the Sooners have given up all season. No timeouts left for Miami. Fullback banging close. Is he in? No signal. They'd better move quickly. Clock running is... An undersized Miami defensive line holding off that huge Sooner defensive front. Here's a throw into the end zone to Jackson. He goes up and cannot come down with the ball. Unless they throw it again, they won't be able to get two running plays off. No timeouts left. Pitch back. Heading in. Touchdown as Anthony Stafford takes it in. And now the extra point comes up. The Sooners meet the challenge and take it down the field. Ignited by the interception by Ricky Dixon. They come down now and finally are in position to tie the game at 7-all. Three points in the first half all season. 14 in one game. The extra point is up and good. R.D. Lasher back deep now for Miami. Thompson sends it downfield on two hops. Randall Hill has a problem now. He turns it upfield and is finally cut down at the 16-yard line. 7-7 game. Five seconds to go in the half. Bratton, that'll do it. And so, through the first 30 minutes, it's a stand-up at the 1988 Orange Bowl. Miami went up first. 7-7 at halftime. Let's go to New York now and Gail Gardner. Gail. But if they get in the open field, that's it. They stop in the end zone. This one's kicked too deep in their own end zone to bring it out. Cabinets split to the left side of your screen. They've not gone to him yet. Straight ahead run. The Sooner big blocker. The bone is set on second and six. Thompson keeps it himself and spins ahead to about the 27-yard line. Live action now, third and two. And the Sooners aren't going to get there as Miami's Bernard Clark fills the gap and takes on the fullback. Oh, watch out. Feels a low snap very nicely and booms the ball downfield, forcing Perriman into a fair catch at his 34-yard line. Our NBC statistician, Elliot Cal, pointing out the Hurricanes have scored on their first possession of the second half seven times in 11 games. Second down and nine coming up for Steve Walsh in the Hurricanes. Out pattern, he goes and makes the connection to Melvin Bratton. Bratton looking to dance his way to a first down, cannot do it. Near side is Perriman. And in the slot at the top, the best of the lot, Michael Irvin. And they're all good. Quick out. Yep, penalty. A great job of disguising their coverage. Brilliant as the Cleveland Brown, equally great that night here in Miami as he directed the offense to the title. That throw goes to Brian Blades, and he's ahead for a first down. To On first down and ten, the handoff goes to Warren Williams. On a slant dive, he seven times in eleven games. Now on second down and eight. There's a throw and a drop. Throw to Michael Irvin. Wind is kicking up. 
Coming in off the Atlantic. Walsh gets time and dumps it off somehow to Bratton. Open field run by Bratton and a third down and eight play is good for a hurricane first down. Leading receiver is fullback Melvin Bratton of Miami. Now he runs from scrimmage on first down and doesn't get much. Second down, almost nine. He checked off, changed the play as you see the linebacker jump in the gap. Not close. Games have converted third and nine and third and eight previously on this drive. That's a screen. They set the screen up nice for the Brant and the look at the play by Dante Jones. Fiegels, the putter, is the holder. He's also a trick shot artist. He's liable to run with it. Six yards. Greg Cox, a senior place kicker from Fort Lauderdale, gives the Hurricanes the lead. Boy, did he nail that one. Woo! Decibel level gets as loud here when the Hurricanes are playing to a sold-out building as any place in college football. Very difficult to call signals if you're the visiting team. Stafford will down the ball. So far, the bone is not broken a big play, though, and this time they get virtually nothing at all as Derwin Jones. Patrick Collins ran for 131 yards against Nebraska on 13 carries. He has only 31 yards tonight. Now in second and ten, the Sooners are again thrown back by an inspired Miami defense. Number one, trailing number two by three at the moment as Thompson breaks free on a third down play, dives ahead, and he'll be just short of the first down. They're moving along quickly, 6.51 to play and the clock running. Well hit ball, a high wobbly spiral downfield forces Perriman into a fair catch at his 36. The last three times, number one and two has played in college football, number two is one, and number two with the ball is leading right now 10 to seven. End up up the middle. Warren Williams runs hard and gets ahead. Harry Stevens and Jimmy Johnson. But uh, tell you what, down here is where you want to play football. Nice weather. Jim Kelly, let's Long go back ball, up there. letting it go, and it is taken down by Brian Blade somehow inside the 35-yard line. But they rule he did not have a foot in bounds. 6 one to go, third quarter. Hurricanes with the ball on a 10-7 lead. Here comes a blitz, but they go to the run, and Williams looking for room to go. Finds a moment's notice, and... Whoa. Finally breaks ahead and gets a first down. Hits a very big running play for the Hurricanes, and they have a first and ten. And again, they go to Williams, but this time he is struck down by linebacker Kurt Casper. Second down and 12 as Walsh steps in and gets time and drills a spike to Melvin Bratton inside the 40. And Bratton is down to the 35-yard line. Well, Melvin's hauling that pig in tonight. has caught seven for 81 yards and a touchdown. Warren Williams is stuck at the line. Let's clear the way for Charles Thompson. Down the field to throw, and it's incomplete at the 25. He has not had a lot of success from throwing in the rain this year when he's had to play in it. Most quarterbacks don't. Miami 6 of 10 on third downs. This is third and 10, and the play is whistled dead. Legal procedure against the Hurricane. Third down, 15. Walsh stands in. They take care of him. An out pattern. And there is the connection to Brian Blaze inside the 30-yard line down to the 28. They think they can throw the ball against the Sooner defense, which is number one against the pass. And here is a throw and a catch by Melvin Bratton. Now it's first and 10 for the Hurricanes. Play fake to Bratton. Walsh guns it over the middle. It's oh. incomplete at the three-yard line. And Walsh on second and ten goes to the draw. Melvin Bratton takes it straight ahead, but not for very much. The top-ranked Sooners trying to get the ball back. Walsh again is well taken care of. Lofting the ball. Irvin is open. Touchdown, Miami. the extra point. Williams inside, Urban outside, just a corner pattern run by Mike Urban. Again, Walsh absolutely on the money. Sooners who don't like to pass, they say that's for the pregame warm-ups, might have to start putting the ball downfield now. Anthony Stafford. 
Out to the 25. Got a penalty here. Here's Oklahoma. Offsides. Kicking team. I'd make him kick it again. Now the Sooners down by 10 late in the third quarter. 231 to play in it. Go to the pitch back run. Free ball. And it looks like Collins got it back. The Sooners have won the national championship three times in Barry Switzer's previous seasons. Right now, though, they're against it as they pitch back beautifully done as Thompson throws it back to Stafford. He has a knee that could need surgery after the season. Thompson stands in. So fast. Third and ten. He's not going to be close. Harold Bullington had a late hit on Charles Thompson. Now Stubbs keeps the drive alive. Holding hands in the huddle. You just don't want him doing it coming out of the locker room. Patrick Collins breaks it down to the 40-yard line of Sooners with the drive alive and the personal foul call. And here is the handoff. And this time, they it's very much a part of the Oklahoma offense. Main man, the engine in the offense. Thompson rolling out, but he's going to go nowhere as Hawkins with a pencil and powers him. And that's the end of the third quarter. Miami 17, Oklahoma 7. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. They got to keep this drive alive, so go for it if they don't make it on third down. Throwing a catch. Uh, Thompson hits his All American tight end. Bumble. And then after he gets the ball, Keith Jackson loses it. And the Hurricanes have it. Uh, he's got the big league arm. He's an infielder, second baseman. Here is a handoff now. Bratton trying to go wide. Henley markers are down as Bratton goes out of bounds. And here's the call. Holding during the run. Holding yard penalty. Against against Miami. Down. Miami must play smart. They'll be national champions. The Sooners aren't done yet, though, and now on the rollout. Walsh fires the ball to Melvin Bratton off first and 20 play, and he's ahead to the 29-yard line. He's a senior who projects to be a first or second round draft choice in the NFL, Melvin Bratton. Nine catches for 99 yards for Bratton tonight. Cleveland Gary's in now as they go to the run, and Warren Williams runs the ball on second and five, and one to Bratton, one to Irvin. And only eight interceptions. Cleveland Gary breaks into open field. He has a first down and more. Another of the big back. Trump has been magnificent. Seven of 12. Against the number one defense in the country. Sooners hunting the ball, looking to get it back. Again, it's Williams with the run, and not much there on a first and 10 play. Been tough for Jimmy Johnson. He came in after Howard Snellenberger and said if he knew the pressure to be under from the press, he probably wouldn't have come. Here's a throw and a catch by Cleveland Gary. Like he's been there for years. Won the job in the summer by just making fewer mistakes. They still have him sacked, and his receiver fell down. Michael Irvin, or Cleveland Gary. Oh, he's going to punt it. Well hit ball by Fiegels. And then down is Derek White, who fair catches it at the 17. First down for the Sooners. Patrick Collins turns up field and gets the ball out across the 20. Outfield to a standing ovation. A strained knee, as Tom Hammond reported. Turning up field and not getting very much. Just spring along the line of scrimmage. Thompson has no place to run. Oklahoma has not trailed in the fourth quarter this season. They're down by 10 now as Stafford, a very fast center, is knocked down percentage football. Looking at Whoa. the time, a high snap. Thompson hits the ball again very well downfield, and Perriman has to let it roll. It'll take a sooner hop as it comes down to about the 25-yard line of Miami. Sooners can't move the ball now as it's first and 10 for Miami. And up the middle of the field goes Warren Williams, and he finds his way for a gain of six. We're in the fourth quarter on NBC Sports, nine minutes and 45 seconds to play. Second down, and about two. Williams again. Sooners get him. Warren Williams. Down to 33. Miami with one turnover in the game. Cleveland Gary fighting hard. He gets where he has to go as he's out to the 38-yard line. Oklahoma, as the Big 8 team, is the home team. Theoretically, they're the home team. But... Lock inside. Eight minutes to play now. 17-7. Miami leads Oklahoma. Warren Williams runs the ball and gets it to the 36. The Hurricanes, the only team to beat the Oklahoma Sooners over the last three seasons. They've done it twice, working on a third. Johnson would chance it here. Low snap, but Eagles hits another towering punt. Derek White runs it back. 
as standout special teams plays and the Bruins of UCLA. 6.26 to play. Thompson stands in and he's in deep trouble. Knocked down hard by Jimmy Jones inside the five. 1986 season. Miami beat them number one ranked Oklahoma in the regular season. Almost picked off. So, the proud tradition of Oklahoma football, a school that's produced six national champions since 1950. Under the gun now, and another receiver separated from the ball. Good snap, big rush. He gets it away and hits the ball end over end downfield to Brett Perriman at the 40 yard line of Oklahoma. And Perriman takes it right at the Sooners to the 32 yard line. 180. Rushing yards only 151. And they average almost 430. Conley turns outside, and a young player they expect great things from at Miami. He always seems to ban linebacker this game recently. That's where Bosworth couldn't play for the Sooners. Conley doesn't get a thing, but the Oklahoma held to a season low, a long time low, seven points. When Gary doesn't get much easy money, this is only a 48 yarder. He's kicking into the win this time, though. Makes no difference, no problem. 48 yarder and a 56 yarder, and the national championship might as well be in the books with 341 to play. The Hurricanes have command 20 to 7. Edgar Dennis hits a high spinning kick downfield in the fest to Sooner. Anthony Stafford runs it back 10 and 15. Breaking it, trying to go to the outside. He loses his footing at about the 22-yard line. They're always good. Throw and too much on it as he tried to gun the ball. Shut down the running game and made Oklahoma throw. Thompson, long ball, not close. The only man near it was the strong safety. And no matter what they do to him, he's going to be happy about it. Thompson throwing on the run and very nearly the reception. Thompson steps in, lets her rip, and he makes the connection to Patrick Collins, who's out across the 40 and out to the 42 yard line. Jackson gets it. He's ahead for a gain of about nine yards. Bernard Clark was covering the tight end. You know what's ironic? We'll run this play and I'll tell you. Pitch back. Collins looking to throw it. Gets it down to Jackson. And Keith Jackson with the first down is inside the 30-yard line of Miami. 2.15 to go. Don Cricky with Bob Trumpy down the stretch. One of the national championship game. As we have a fumble, fumble Ruski Ruski. play. And we have a offensive lineman Mark Hudson scoring a touchdown. So it's not over yet. 2.05 to play. Shades of Nebraska a few years ago here at the Orange Bowl when the Outland Trophy winner Dean Steincooler picked up a play. Watch. Watch the left guard. When that ball is on the ground, it's under, uh, see it underneath the center. <laughs> Nobody knows where it is. Hudson even Hudson even makes a move. Not us. Look not there. the cameras. Not 76,000 people at the Orange Bowl. But you got to move at, at the end of the run. Extra point, a knuckleball is drilled up and good. He was backed off from the... Let's see which side they go. No, coming this way. Onside, ball in the air. And the Hurricanes with the good hands people up front maintain possession and get the ball at their 47-yard line. By Ricky Dixon of the Sooners. He's been sacked only one time. Here is a nice open field tackle. Fumble. Oklahoma got... says they have the ball. Oh. Now they're going to rule that Oklahoma lost one of the best wishbone quarterbacks in the history of the wishbone, Jamel Holloway, earlier this season. Calling his own number as no. the quarterback. He didn't get close, but now... Busted play. As much game clock off as he can. Gets it end over end. Field goal won't do anything for the Sooners. They've got to get a touchdown, and they'll start from their 23-yard line. I know Hudson couldn't get this far if they go to him again. Penalty knockers down as Thompson fires downfield a well-underthrown ball. Now. 
You got it. And as a coach, he's come up short until tonight. Thompson in trouble somehow gets away from it. In the open field, Charles Thompson gets out to the 22-yard line. He's on a clip against Oklahoma. That's whatever trick play they got here. It better be a dandy. They got to run that hook and ladder. Pitch it back. They can't do he anything. Fumbled, when he he gets sacked. Free ball, and Bernard Clark will be down at the seven-yard line. It's in the books now as the Hurricanes will win at 20 to 14. The Sooners powerless to stop the clock, and nobody will congratulate Jimmy Johnson with more enthusiasm than his good friend Barry Switzer. The party has begun in Miami. It began last night, but now it really gets cooking. Look at Jimmy Johnson. The demons are gone. He's a national championship coach. Yes. Just like we like it, says Jimmy. I don't know if he's ever been baptized, but he'll not forget this one. <laughs> Going off like Caesar. And Don, do you agree with me? The most valuable player in this game for Miami, Bernard Clark. Stepped in to fill in for suspended George Myra Jr. We'll be getting to that. You guys are probably go out together tonight. They're that good friends. When Barry Switzer turned 50, Jimmy Johnson called him and told him he was playing the back nine now. now. I don't think there's any coach that Jimmy Johnson would prefer to beat as a friendly rival than his longtime friend Barry Switzer. That adds a little something special on top of the national championship. 